This is a film about a girl with dreams. How did you dream up this script, this project? That's a great question. You know, I was kind of like the weird kid growing up, and I think I always wanted to tell a story about a child who was different and might learn something about the value of being different and um, not just that it's okay, but that it actually sort of kind of makes you stronger. That's where it came from. Thought you loved looking glass land, wonderland. Thought we loved it together. Tell me a little bit about how she deals with her childhood issues. Oh, well, I think she's just really imaginative and she's really creative and um, she's just very artistic in a way. So I just think she's, I want to be like Phoebe. I think everyone should be like more like Phoebe. <laughs> Miss Dodger, I love that she's Miss, not Ms, M-I-S-S, -S, Miss Dodger. Um, she's a rather eccentric, um, formidable woman. Uh, maybe not of this earth. <laughs> uh, I, I think she's a, you know, I think Daniel wrote a stunning character and I uh, had to just kind of uh, live up to it because it really is a, a beautiful character. And, uh, and I got to work with Felicity and Elle and, it doesn't really get any better than that, so it was a dream. Working on this film was a, a dream. I mean, we had no money, no time. Hello, Sundance. But um, uh, I loved working on this film. It's, uh, it's a great character, you know. He's a kind of reclusive, quiet uh, man who has this dog, who's his friend. The dog is murdered, and then he, he tries to seek some kind of justice for the dog. And uh, it's a great story. It's a wonderful novella by Jack Ketchum. Um, and, uh, you know, Lucky McKee found it, sent it to me a while back. And we put it together in the most extraordinary circumstances. It was real kind of guerrilla filmmaking. And, you know, and, it's, and I, I hope, I haven't seen it, so I'm hoping it's going to be good. They had Brian signed on, and he's been one of my favorite actors for a really long time, so I was, I was really excited to work with him, but then we didn't know who the dad was going to be. So we were literally like starting to film, and we're scrambling to get like a dad, and everyone's freaking out, and they said they got Tom. So Tom just finished a movie, like flew in, I think like the next day, he's disheveled as he can be, and he's like... Hey, I was like, what's up, Dad? So, but I'm, I'm a big fan of both of them. It's really exciting to get to work with both those guys. One of the great things about being an actor is that, like, the, you know, you play, you play good guys and bad guys, and you really, you know, you realize that, uh, you realize kind of a profound life lesson if you look closely at it, because every bad guy in pretty much any movie, uh, or any, any, any kind of, you know, well-written, you know, TV show, movie, anything, um, it, it gives you the opportunity to see why people do what they do and that they're not necessarily bad people or bad guys it's just everybody's trying to do the best that they can do and this is this is all he knows how to do he only knows how to be violent he only knows how to relate to people through threatening and, and uh, you know uh, overpowering so basically blame it, blame it on your upbringing I completely <laughs> I take no responsibility for this character he's he's it's his all it's all his dad's fault <laughs>